Hello, welcome to Vedial Vagaparai. In this video, we are going to see stereochemistry, very specially how to assign absolute configuration. This video is based on a cute PG question paper. So, the question is the absolute configuration RRS configuration for the following molecule is. So, a molecule is given and then the options are also given. So, when a molecule is given like this in a perspective formula and then the stereo centers are assigned in this question itself. So, there is no uh, difficulty for the student to find the stereo center. So, the only thing is how to assign absolute configuration. So, when you know the name absolute configuration, it means you are going to assign R or S notation for the carbon centers. And this is called as absolute configuration because for this particular structure, uh, the RS notation that we are going to assign will remain the same whenever we are writing it. And that is why this is called as an absolute configuration. That is we are not using some other structure as a reference to assign configuration for this structure. We are using uh, going to use SIP rules to assign configuration for this particular structure. So, now let us see how to assign absolute configuration using perspective formula. Uh, when a Fisher notation is given, it is quite easy for us to assign configuration. But students find it difficult when a perspective formula is given um, to assign uh, the configuration. So, in this particular structure, we see only three bonds are shown here. The fourth bond is not shown here. So, whenever a molecule is given like this, then the first step is to draw the fourth group or the group that are not mentioned so that we will be clear about the kind of uh, you know assignment that we can give. So, the first step is to draw the groups that are not mentioned. So, I have put the structure with the group that is not mentioned. So, obviously, we know when carbon-carbon chains are written and the group if it is not mentioned, it is usually hydrogen atom only. So, I, in each of these cases, it is the hydrogen atom that is not mentioned. And we see the stereochemical uh, perspective of each of the carbon atoms are different. See, carbon 2 and carbon 4 has broken wedges for the OH group, while carbon 3 has a solid wedge. So, the other bond which is not mentioned will be the opposite. That is why we see here in carbon 3, the broken wedge is hydrogen. Similarly, in case of 2 and 4, the solid wedge is hydrogen atom. So, and then the way the structure is drawn. So, whenever we are drawing the solid wedges and broken wedges, you see it is drawn in a similar pattern. And it is assumed that the person who is viewing the molecule is viewing from the side where I am pointing the pointer. In the sense, we are looking from this side. On the other hand, we know that anything that is solid, the solid wedge is pointing towards you and the broken wedge is behind you. So, these two groups are in oriented in such a way that are, they are opposite to each other and we must be careful when we write this particular structure. If you do this wrong, then your assignment will go wrong. So, always remember whenever we are going to draw the fourth bond, the fourth bond of all the stereo centers are drawn in such a way that you are viewing the molecule from one side so that you do not have any confusion. So, now the second step. So, the second step is put the least priority group in the broken wedge. So, in this particular molecule, we see that only in carbon 3, the least priority that is hydrogen is in the broken wedge, whereas in carbon 2 and carbon 4, it is not so. So, the way to assign absolute configuration using perspective formula is always to put the least priority group in the broken wedge. So, remember this is a very important step when you are assigning absolute configuration for molecules using perspective formula. So, always remember the first step is to draw the fourth group. Second step is to put the least priority group 
in the broken wedge. So, I am going to shift these places of uh, carbon 2 and carbon 4 and this is how the molecule will look. So, the hydrogen and OH have swapped places, they have moved out. Whereas, in case of carbon 3, there is no change because the least priority is already there in the broken wedge. So, now that our preparatory steps are over, we will go into assigning RS notation. So, the third step will be assigning RS notation. So, let us take carbon by carbon. So, let us take the first carbon that is the carbon number 2 which is the stereocenter. So, in this carbon number 2, we see there are four groups OH, H, CHO and this carbon which is bonded to the chain. So, there are four groups. So, as per SIP rule, we must assign priority. Priority based on the atomic number. So, in this case, oxygen atom has an atomic number 8. So, among the other groups that are there, oxygen is having a higher atomic number. So, it is given the priority 1. Then, of course, hydrogen is the least priority. That is why I have ignored the fourth. Now, going over to the second. I have uh, assigned aldehyde group as the priority 2. Why is the aldehyde group given the priority 2? This aldehyde group is actually looking like a carbon with two oxygen bonds. Okay, It is assumed to be like this. Whereas, when you see this carbon, that is the third carbon, it is bonded to one oxygen, it is bonded to one hydrogen and thirdly it is bonded to another carbon whereas this particular aldehyde carbon is bonded to hydrogen, oxygen but the third bond is to ox oxygen again and that is the reason why between these two this aldehyde group gets the higher priority. So, when you have assigned the priority Next step is to see in which direction the numbers go. So, we see the numbers go in the counterclockwise direction. So, when the numbers go in counterclockwise direction, we assign the notation yes. So, now let us go to the second carbon atom. So, that is carbon number 3. So, when you see carbon number 3, again hydrogen has the least priority. OH will definitely get the first priority. Now, between 3 and 2, we see OH and H are two common groups. So, no issues there. So, the only differentiator will be this carbon atom and this carbon atom. And of course, you know this carbon has two hydrogen and one oxygen bond, whereas this hydrogen has one hydrogen and two oxygen bond. That is why this carbon gets the second priority and the the fourth carbon gets the third priority. And again, when you are uh, seeing the order, the order of numbers comes in the clockwise direction. So, because it is coming in the clockwise direction, it is R. So, the earlier one was yes, the next one is R. Now, the third category. In case of the third one again, hydrogen gets the least priority. OH gets the first priority and between these two carbon atoms, we see this carbon that is the carbon uh, which is uh, uh, given the priority to 3 has two hydrogens and one OH group and the carbon that is given the priority to has OH and hydrogen but another carbon atom. So, that is why this has a higher priority. Again, when you see the numbering, the numbering goes from 1 2, 3. So, this is in the counterclockwise direction. So, the assignment is yes. So, we have assigned RS notation for this structure, but this structure is actually shifted or changed from the original structure. So, now let us see what to do next. So, I go back to assigning configuration and this is what we did in the previous structure. So, we assigned the notation and in the notation we saw the second carbon was given yes, the third carbon was given R and the fourth carbon was given S again. But then what do we have to remember? This is the most important point to remember. 
whenever we made make a one exchange okay there is a difference okay so the one exchange was happened happened only at carbon 2 and carbon 4 so atom 2 and 4 were exchanged okay whereas 3 wasn't therefore whatever configuration you get at carbon 2 and carbon 4 will be the opposite so you have got yes here so the original configuration of that particular molecule will be r similarly this is yes here so the original configuration will be r so we see here in case of the third carbon there was no change or transposing of the groups so whatever configuration was obtained it is retained whereas in case of 2 and 4 the configuration that was obtained is changed or it is the opposite so this is how we assign configuration for molecules using perspective formula so i have just removed the bonds that were earlier inserted so this is our original molecule without the hydrogen atom and so its answer is 2r 3r 4r that is option 1 is the correct answer so this is how we assign configuration for molecules using perspective formula so the first step is include the group second step is shift the mind, uh, uh, least priority to the broken wedges then assign configuration then see what is whichever places we have shifted we will change the configuration to the opposite and then we will find the total or different uh, configurations at various stereo centers and locate the answer i hope you understood thank you